So we're coming towards the end of 2021 and I'm getting a lot of people asking, Annie, where is real estate headed for 2022? What do you think is going to happen next year? Well, I'm going to give you my two cents and break it down for you coming up. Hi, I'm Annie Baker. I'm a realtor here in Silicon Valley, and I specialize in listing houses for sale. And I have a lot of clients that have been asking, you know, what's going to happen. They started asking a few months ago, should they sell? Should they put their house on the market now? Or is the market going to crash in 2022? People are kind of worried. Some buyers are saying, oh, I'm going to wait because next year housing is going to drop and I'm going to wait till then. Well, here's what I think is really going to happen. Uh, I'm going to first start with our inventory. And our inventory, meaning the number of houses that are available for buyers to buy, has been low for years. I mean, gosh, at least the last five years. Honestly, I don't think we really had a lot of inventory since around the 2010 era. Uh, but I will give you some stats. Uh, these are for single family homes in Santa Clara County. Back in 2018, there was 1,334 houses on the market. In 2019, there were 1,067 houses on the market. 2020, we had 918 single family homes on the market. And this year in 2021, we had 584 houses on the market. So that's almost, almost half in the last few years. The inventory keeps going down. Uh, and you know, this time of year in the late fall, early winter, the number of available homes is typically lower in general, but it just goes to show you, we are really at low inventory for Santa Clara County. And then I want to talk about something called absorption rate. How many months of inventory do we have available in the market right now? So again, let's go back to 2018. We had in say the fall, October, there was 2.1 months of inventory available. In 2019, we had 1.9, so just a little bit less. 2020, there was one month of inventory available. 2021, we we're at 0.6. So just over half a month of inventory. And the experts say for a normal stable housing market, you should have between five and six months of inventory available. So we haven't been at a normal stable real estate market for years, meaning sellers have really been in control. The majority of sellers are sellers, you know, get multiple offers. There are more buyers for the house. Uh, so buyers are really at the mercy of sellers. That's not a normal real estate market. Uh, so knowing that towards the end of 2021, we are at the lowest amount of inventory we've had in the last four years shows me we're probably going to go into 2022 with a low amount of inventory. And we all know the springtime is usually when there's the highest amount of homes for sale. So the inventory will go up, I get that. Uh, but I just don't think overnight we're gonna see seven months of inventory available, which will drive prices down and the market will become a buyer's market, which will really be a huge shift for here. I just don't see that happening that quickly. Even with the number of people leaving California, it's just not going to happen overnight like that. Next thing I want to talk about is our interest rates. So interest rates, in my mind, is really what you know dictates the demand for housing because if the interest rate is low buyers have more buying power they get more excited that oh my gosh i can really afford some of these houses and they want to buy when interest rates go up it's just tougher for a lot of people to buy houses back in you know the last crash in say 2008 to 2010 2011 uh with the housing market it wasn't really driven um, by the fact that there weren't buyers on the market. There were plenty of buyers still on the market. The problem that really came up was the lending industry kind of froze and guidelines and restrictions put on, you know, by the banks for buyers were so strict that a lot of people just couldn't afford, they couldn't qualify for a loan. In the early 2000s, banks were giving loans away to people probably that never should have been in the business of owning a home. 
but they gave them away. That caused a lot of issues and good people, people that had had stable income for years, all of a sudden couldn't qualify for a loan. I remember one client in particular had been in the same industry for like 15 years. They had been qualified, pre-qualified to buy a home. It was like $1.8 million. And when things shifted, they just hadn't bought yet. They sell this smaller house they were fine in. But when things shifted with lending, they the husband made a job change. And even though he was in the same industry, he did not have two years of history at that company. He could not get a loan. And he finally did. But it took a while. So that just prevented good buyers from being able to buy, which then softens the market because there aren't as many buyers available. And there you have it. So here's some information about interest rates. So um, I'm gonna say the average interest rate back in October 2018 was 4.83%. That's still a really good rate, under 5%. 2019, it was 3.69, still great. 2020, 2.83. I mean, honestly, under 3%, that's almost like free money if you ask me. And this time, 2021, around October, November, the average rate is around 3.07. So really fantastic, right? Let's go back a little bit further. In 2013, the average interest rate was 4.19%. Go back even further, 2008, and the interest rate was 6.20. 2007, 6.38. I'm gonna do a big jump here, 1990, it was 10.13%. Could you imagine paying 10% for your interest rate for a mortgage right now in Silicon Valley? What would that do to the housing market? That would slow things down pretty darn fast. Okay, remember that 1990 for a reason. Uh, so one of the things that will affect the interest rate is the inflation rate. And right now our inflation rate is going up rather quickly. The inflation rate is the highest it's been since 1990. So remember, the interest rate was over 10% in 1990. I'm not sure, I don't know if that's where we're headed that high, and if we are, it's gonna take some time, so don't panic here. But inflation rate will increase our interest rate. Historically, they go hand in hand. So interest rates most likely will be going up at some point. How quickly, I don't know. So if our cost of living is going up, inflation is going up, uh, interest rates have to follow. But I just don't know how quickly the government will allow them to go up just because that could really cripple our economy if it freezes housing and stuff. So I think for the short term of 2022, as long as interest rates stay pretty conservative, honestly, people, anything under 4% is really fantastic. I mean, I'm, my parents told me about an interest rate in the 80s that they had that was 13%. Uh, people were doing that. So if we're keeping anything under 4 even under 5%, it's good. But the sooner you get into a house before those interest rates go up, the better. Because you can't save as fast as you can buy an interest rate that's lower. Does that make sense? I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. But some people say, well, Annie, we wanna keep saving more for our down payment. The problem is if the interest rates go up even just one point, that could mean a significant difference in your monthly payment, even with the same down payment. Does that make sense? Um, okay, I'm not sure if I'm doing a good job explaining that, but um, interest rates really are the buyer's best buying power is a lower interest rate more so than just you know a higher down payment so again i don't think they're going to jump up overnight but that's something really to consider but with inventory so low i don't see that jumping significantly either the absorption rate is so low so i just think we're going to be okay for most of 2022. Again, I think it's really gonna be dictated by the interest rates. Um, so in my mind, it's better to think about selling your house earlier in 2022 than later, and buy, buy sooner than later. No matter what the house price is, it's better to have a low interest rate. So I think we're still gonna have a great 2022. I think we're good for a while. So get busy buying, get busy selling, where it's gonna be good. Uh, and if you have any questions, if I didn't explain something that well, sorry, I do, I'm just at the tail end of a cold, so well, that's 
at least that's my excuse. <laughs> um, but anyway, feel free to reach out with any questions. Do me a huge favor and subscribe to my channel. If you liked anything I had to say, give me a thumbs up, comment below. Look forward to hearing from you. And until next time, have a great one.